Hello, in this video we're having a look at Solar System Scope. This is the tool that the Bark Roller is using in his most recent Planetary Alignment Watch videos. In this view we're looking at the 18th of July 2011. In this view we see an apparent alignment between Saturn, Mercury and Uranus. There is also another apparent alignment between Mars, Jupiter and Uranus. Let's have another look at the first alignment to start with between Saturn, Mercury and Uranus. This is the default, default view for Solar System Scope. We can change the settings here. By default settings the view is at about 40% uh, to scale. You can see that we can move these sliders to adjust the distances between planets or the orbit sizes and we can also adjust the planet sizes. Now at default the planet sizes are about 65% 35% and the orbit sizes are 60-40. So this is the default view. As you can see when we adjust the orbit sizes then things actually change their position. So where we've got Mercury between Saturn and Uranus here, when we change the setting you can see that now Mercury is to the left, now Mercury is to the right. So that's not an alignment. If I move the slider all the way to the left, then we've got it at a 100% true scale. If I shift the uh, planet sizes all the way to the left, you see now that we can't actually see the planets, they're microscopic. But if I turn on the labels, then we can see their positions again. I'm just going to move in more closely so we can see better. Now if I line up Saturn and Mercury, there's Saturn, there's Mercury, you'll see that Uranus is out to the side here, out to the right. If we find the apparent alignment between Mars, Jupiter and Uranus, we see the same thing. Here is Mars, here is Jupiter, and Uranus is out to the right again. So Using solar system scope not to scale does not show the planet alignments correctly. It will give a, um, an incorrect view of the alignments and it cannot be relied on for making planetary alignment watch videos. Thank you for watching.